Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you again. This time, we're going to go to Insider.com, and the article was done by Ashley Turner, and it's in the celebrity column, and it says, Will Smith says he borrowed $10,000 from a drug dealer after he went broke from not paying taxes. Say what? So the article starts off by saying Will Smith recently shared that at the beginning of his career, he borrowed $10,000 from a drug dealer when he became broke after filing, excuse me, after failing to pay pay his taxes in the early 1990s. During a Thursday appearance at the Savatory Theater in London to promote his autobiography, Will Smith talked uh, to the actor Ellis Ibra about his financial problems after becoming famous. I'm not sure what the government is like with taxes in the UK, but in the US, they take it seriously, Smith told the audience according to a video captured by Metro. So Uncle Sam wanted his money, he continued, adding, I didn't forget, I just didn't pay. I had to sell everything, and I know whatever my new life was going to be, I could feel it was going to be in Los Angeles, he said. So I borrowed $10,000 from a friend of mine who was a... (laughs) Uh, he, he, he was a neighborhood guy um, in pharmaceuticals. He continued as the audience laughed. <laughs> was his name Stink, uh, uh, Stringer Bell? Ellis <laughs> responded, mentioning the character uh, he played on HBO's The Wire. The King Richard said, uh, the King Richard star said he almost declared bankruptcy before ultimately moving to Los Angeles and winning the lead role on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. According to Will Smith's biography, the IRS garnished 70% of his salary over the first three seasons of the show. Smith ended the night by performing a medley of his hits alongside his frequent uh, collaborator uh, Jazzy Jeff including Brand New Funk Switch, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and Summertime. On November 8th, Smith embarked on a five-date book tour to promote his memoir, beginning in his hometown of Philadelphia and making stops in Brooklyn, New York, uh, Chicago, Los Angeles, and London. Representatives for Smith did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Okay. Will was released November 9th. All right. So this is just a little short story. And I'm just like, Will Smith? Like, uh, like men- mentally for me, it doesn't jive w- what he portrayed on there. But I mean... We got friends everywhere, so I'm 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 shocked that he did that. But at the same time, I'm not really shocked because, you know, I mean, if the uh, if the uh, local pharmaceuticals and the international pharmaceuticals can help the uh, depression that happened in 2008, I guess uh, <laughs> anything's possible, right? So. <laughs> It's just a little funny story and uh, stuff like that. Um, Just wanted to throw something up on there. Something that people may not have been aware of. Um, You know, regardless if you're a Will Smith fan or not. um, Ultimately, he did do very well for himself. And he continues to do very well for himself. And, um, you know, it's just one of his stories. You know, or whatever. So... With that being said, you guys, uh, I want you to drop down in the comments. And um, the question would be, could you see, would you have ever thought 
that Will Smith would be the type of person to borrow money, let alone $10,000, from a drug dealer? You can answer yes or no. Give your comment as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And with that being said, you guys, thank you, and I will get back to you in the next video.